Hey guys, welcome back to Frostpunk. This is your legendary commander. We are looking at steam thumpers today, or coal thumpers, I should say. They're they're not really steam thumpers. Uh, well, actually, take that back. There is a steam thumper here. We're looking at both the steam thumper, the steam coal thumper, and the standard coal thumper. First off, we're going to look at what they cost and what the resources are required on these things. These two are not operating at the moment. I've got them shut down, and I've got several posts here to, in order to collect the resources. I would like to lead with that these are an infinite supply of resources, actually. So looking at the coal thumper, you're going to find that it only costs 15 wood, and it also p produces 560 coal per day. It requires 10 workers, and it mentions in here enough for two gathering posts. Well, what I'm going to tell you is the amount it collects here, it's a lot. And I don't even think two gathering posts can keep up with it. So we're going to find out exactly how much manpower you need, everything you need to know about this one. Then over here, we've got the steam coal thumper, collecting 1120 coal per day. That's enough for apparently four gathering posts. It still requires just 10 workers, but it does also require to build it 35 wood, 25 steel. Very expensive project, and in some ways you might just want to build more coal thumpers. There's plenty of room in the map. I have never really ran out of room as you can see I stripped this area down just so I could do a display so we're gonna go ahead and turn this coal thumper on and we're gonna go ahead and turn two of these on now provided and I've got pretty good medical care so I should not be lacking any sort of efficiency here and already am all right guys so the steam core uh, the coal thumper is here it's prepping for its first load and these two facilities are running. We need to see if these two can keep up with this or is it going to fall behind. So far we got 40 material. Let's see if it can outrun these two uh, posts. Okay, so I've got them working overtime, 24 around the clock shifts right now. These gathering posts should be running all day. All they're doing is collecting resources. And what you can see here is this has slowly climbed up. It's at 50 right now. We should see it here in just a minute. Okay, just made its first load at about 83, 84. And let's see what happens in the next load. Eighty-five. So it's slowly climbing, and it's going to do this over a course of the time. And eventually, you won't be able to operate this facility without at least, without at least two, two gathering posts, which isn't too bad. Now there is also an upgrade which would require you to properly build a third gathering post with the cold thumper injectors. This will increase your production by fifteen percent, which would definitely require an additional gathering post. But that last gathering post might not be completely utilized. And if you had maybe another coal thumper right next to it, you set up like five gathering posts, they could probably handle two coal thumpers. So here, let's look at the steam coal thumper. We're going to go ahead and shut this one down. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and turn this one on and load up the overtime. I'm going to turn on the overtime here. And we've already got two facilities already running on overtime. We're going to get this one maxed out, load it up. Get this one out and load it up. I'll get in their OT now. And this coal thumper is ready to go. So here it goes. It's starting to do its job. We have got four facilities trying to gather from it. And see, let's see if it builds up any faster than... Let's see if it's producing faster than the four gathering post. Let's see if this goes ahead. So guys, it looks like four gathering posts is all you'll need for this. So, 
If you wanted to save 10 people, you can go ahead and build the steam coal thumper, but I, uh, I don't really suggest it. I feel this coal thumper does a good job on its own. It requires a total of about 30 people to work, while this one requires a total of 50 people. Now granted, to get the same output from this to this, you're going to need that additional coal thumper, which is going to require 60 people to do the same job as this for 50. But this is a highly expensive project requiring a lot of metal, a lot of wood, stuff that you might not have. Well, this is very cheap and very inexpensive. Therefore, I highly suggest the coal thumper. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something about coal thumpers today. Uh, if you were to add the injectors, these things would run a little better. You might need one more gathering post. Uh, we're not adding the injector because it's just going to not, it's just... It's just going to increase what we already know, 15%. 15% of this, one more of these gathering posts, we're definitely be able to keep up with that. So there's no point. But like I said, that's going to be it for this video, guys. You all take care. And I'll catch you next time.